Hello, uh, welcome back to another lecture. Uh, we're going to continue with solving a bunch of thermodynamic uh, problem in chapter 2. In this chapter, we talked about that energy can transfer from and to in a closed system only two means, one being heat and one being work. So let's do some example here. Take a look at this problem. Let me bring it up on a computer here. Um, <clears throat> there it is. So we have this uh, piston and uh, contain a gas uh, initially at the volume of 0.1 cubic meter and it under undergoes a constant pressure expansion at 2 uh, bar which is a 2 atmosphere pressure uh, to a final volume of 0.12 uh, cubic meter and while being slowly heated through the base the changes in the internal energy of the gas is about 0.2 5 kilojoule and uh, the piston and the cylinder wall are uh, uh, fabricated from a uh, heat resistant material and the piston moves smoothly in the cylinder so there will be no uh, um, any force there so the local atmosphere pressure is 1 bar they want to know for the gas as a system evaluate work and heat transfer each in kilojoule so you gotta pay attention to that B for the piston as a system, evaluate work and change in uh, potential uh, energy. Okay. okay. So we're going to look at the uh, gas as a system by itself for to answer the question uh, section A. So what we're going to hear, we're going to say just the gas. Let me just put a boundary around here. And we're just going to look at the gas itself. When we look at this, and remember, we had the, um, the energy balance equation that we have it on the board right there, is, uh, uh, was delta in kinetic energy plus the difference in uh, potential energy plus the difference in uh, internal energy was uh, a Q minus W. So when we look at this system, we know we don't have any kinetic energy, so that can go away. And then we know we don't have any potential energy that can go away. However, we do have a delta U and we do have a Q, but we don't have a W. Uh, we, gotta, we don't know these two, actually. We don't know Q, we don't know W. So this equation kind of come out to uh, um, delta U, which we know, equal Q, which we don't know, W, work, we don't know. So let's find out what is the work done on a system here. I'm going to come out to uh, integration from V1, V2, P, D, V. And that's the same as saying, okay, P time V2 minus V1. And P is a two bar. Two bar, one bar is a, uh, one bar is a uh, 100,000 kilonewton per meter square. So we can say, 2 times 10 by power 5 newton per meter square so that's my pressure and then v2 v1 is a 0.12 minus 0.1 that's cubic meter now remember the question says i want them in terms of kilojoule so take a look at the uh, a unit i have up there and a kilojoule should be uh one kilojoule is uh same as uh, uh, 1,000 uh, uh, newton, 1,000 newton time meter. And uh, what do I have for answer here? I've got four kilojoule. Okay, so now we found that okay, we have this, we have this, we have that. Therefore, from this equation, I'm going to go ahead and say uh, um, Q is equal delta U plus W. And uh, delta U was this, so my Q is going to come out to 
4 kilojoule plus 0.25 kilojoule equal 4.25 kilojoule. Okay, so now we found out for the system that we isolate just the gas itself right here, Q is going to come out to a, a 4.2 kilojoule. Okay, the next we want to go ahead and look at the piston itself. So let me draw just the piston out right here. All right, that's the piston. Let me bring it over here. And uh, we have two forces acting on this piston or two pressure. We want to say forces. So and we talked about this before. And uh, we said that uh, in mechanic material, you're going to learn F is equal. Well, let's back up. Uh, stress or pressure is equal force divided by area and therefore I can say uh, force is equal pressure time area. So now and here I'm going to have this force coming down and it's going to be pressure time area and the pressure of atmosphere times the area, area is a cross-sectional area of this uh, cylinder. And then down bottom here we have the uh, pressure from the gas itself that created and that's going to be time the cross-sectional area. And now we will use the, the energy balance equation up here for this and that's going to be uh, same thing delta E plus delta P plus delta U equal Q minus W. Now for the piston itself right here Let me write this down here. So I got delta E, kinetic energy plus uh, potential energy, which we have some, plus internal energy we don't have any, equal Q we don't have any, W we do have. So when we look at this, we're going to say, all right, this doesn't have any kinetic energy, this piston. This piston doesn't have any internal energy, and it doesn't have any uh, Q. But it has a potential energy because it's moving up. So delta P is equal W. Okay. Well, we know we don't know either one of this. We got two unknowns. Let's figure out what W is. And W is gonna come out to uh, find out work. The work is uh, done on a piston, work piston. It's gonna be basically F time D Z. Okay, so now we have this gonna be basically uh F is equal the uh, res it's a resultant force of this two, so it's going to be P of atmosphere. Let's see if I can write that down. Time the area minus P A. And time delta Z. So if we're going to further uh, reduce this, let's take the A out, and we're going to say it's going to be P of atmosphere minus P time area time delta Z. And this basically come out to the volume itself. And therefore, now I can go ahead. And, okay, so now we're going to plug these numbers in. So we have a, a P atmosphere is 1 bar minus 2 for P of the uh, pressure in the gas. And that's a bar. Let's make it uh, uh, 10 by power 5 Newton per meter square. Convert that and multiply by delta Z, which was a 0.12 minus 0.1 meter cube and uh, again just like here we're going to time it uh, by uh, kilojoule divided by 1000 newton meter and that comes out that's going to become negative so I get uh, I got negative 2 kilojoule. Okay, so that was part A, that's part B. And uh, so now when we look at this equation here, let me bring this equation back down here. And that's nothing there, nothing there. I got the, the, the potential energy, the, the difference in potential energy is equal uh, minus W. So now we're going to say that it's equal minus minus 2 kilojoule 
So that's going to become plus 2 kilojoule. That's where your potential energy comes out to. So when we look at the whole system, really, uh, and if we look at the whole system, we had uh, Q came out to be, uh, input Q came out to be uh, 4.25. Then we had the, uh, the, the result came back out to in form of a, a delta U came out to be uh, 0.25. And then we had uh, delta PE came out to uh, 2 kilojoule. So these both all kilojoule. And then we had transferred work to the system, to the atmosphere pressure was two work where's work 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 two came out to two kilojoule so that came out to uh two kilojoule so all of two two four four point two five they balance out this refrigerator which is a uh, uh, receiving steadily power uh, of input of 0.1 kilowatt and while uh, rejecting energy by heat transfer to the surrounding at the rate of 0.6 kilowatt it says, find out the rate at which the energy is removed by heat transfer from the refrigerator space in kilowatt and the refrigerator coefficient of performance. And now we have, uh, uh, from the equation we have, we have W cycle, which is given to us. And that is equal Q out minus Q in. Now, we have this, we have this, we don't have that. So, therefore, I can say Q in is equal uh, Q out minus W cycle. So I can say Q in is equal uh, Q out, which was uh, 0.6 kilowatt, minus W in, W came out to 0.15 kilowatt, and that should give me 0.45 kilowatt. OK. And uh, really, this is pretty simple. So, beta is equal Qn divided by W cycle. So, Qn was, came out to 0.45 and divided by 0.15, and that's uh, 1, 2, 3. So, it become 3. That's it.